This is the Oversight and Government Reform Hearing Room in Washington, D.C. This is typically where we do oversight hearings. But this Friday at 9 a.m., we'll do the oversight hearing in Oklahoma City. Actually, it'll be at the University of Central Oklahoma in Edmond at 9 a.m. at Constitution Hall. This particular hearing will focus on what prevents us from being energy independent in the United States. For decades, we've talked about as a nation becoming energy independent. We just haven't actually done it. But the new technologies and the advancement that has occurred over the last several decades have moved us faster there, but we're not there yet. We're asking the question, why? 58% of all the oil that we used in 2011 in the United States was produced in the United States. If you count Mexico, Canada, and the United States together, it's 79% of the oil that we used here was produced in North America. That means we're only 21% of our oil usage away from being free from the Middle East, from South America, from the other areas, some of them very hostile to us. This energy issue is not just some simple issue. This is about tax income, it's about economic development, it's about jobs in America, and quite frankly, it's about freedom from a lot of countries that hate us that also supply our energy. So it's a serious question to ask, why aren't we already energy independent? Now, why would we do it in Oklahoma City? For, for any of us that live here, know why. It's because Oklahoma City and Oklahoma itself has become the epicenter for energy exploration and energy development in America. So we're gonna take this hearing out of Washington, D.C. and move it to Edmond, Oklahoma at the University of Central Oklahoma this Friday at 9 a.m. And Chairman Issa and myself and the staff will actually ask the questions of many people that are Oklahomans and to say, what is it that prevents us from being energy independent and how do we get to the next step? If we can find regulations and identify them, if we can find issues and identify them, let's identify it. Let's take some of the Oklahoma common sense, bring it to Washington by bringing Washington to Oklahoma. Looking forward to seeing everybody there Friday morning at 9.